Yo, what's up, everybody? This is Frostable's Brawl, another of the Dota 2 Frostable's custom game contest entries. Uh, this game has the best team select screen, like, easily. Like, this right here, this is good shit. I really love it. Looks beautiful, and it's got, like, animations and shit, so that's great. Now, <clears throat> let me give you a warning right now. This is gonna be laggy, right? And it's not really gonna be laggy because of anything I'm doing wrong. This game is just really laggy. And that's it. Um, <coughs> I don't think it's the best game that's out there. Uh, it's kind of interesting though and kind of fun. It's definitely like a competitor, right? Like, I felt like showing it off anyway. Um, I don't want to just like hate on it though. I'm going to show you what the game is about. You make your own judgment call and all of that. And um, yeah, that's that's the plan. Anyway, we're playing Bangle here. So, um, <coughs> again, get ready for it to lag though. Like right here. It's gonna run on low FPS and all of that. So we spawn in. And Kyanak, now we Kyanak. Um, there's lots of presents here. We need to gather up these presents. And if we gather up the presents, we can turn them in right here. And get money for it, which we immediately turn into a javelin and boots. Which we then immediately use to try and stab somebody, but that didn't quite work. Anyway. So, uh, this is like the centerpiece area of the game. You see those are uh, there, those little geysers. If you go over one, then you get thrown up into the air and take some damage. Um, and there are presents that spawn. And um, you, you take the presents and you deliver them into the middle. The goal is to deliver, I believe, 25 presents overall. Like, that's the main objective of the game. Um, then there are grievels that run around the map and do this kind of shit. Right? Like, they just shoot at you a lot, and they're, like, really scary and super powerful and the worst, and I hate them. Um, and, like, seriously, these guys wreck you. Like, you can see that I actually, I'm just getting destroyed by these. Uh, I, I can't really move. I'm just, just kind of dying. Am I dead? Yeah, I'm dead. All right. Yeah, so those creepers, they just kill you. They're, like, really strong. They're, like, really strong. And um, they have super crazy abilities, and, and they just go hard on you. They go really hard on you. Anyway, we're gonna try to, like, burst this, di this guy down. Nice. Come in here, pick up a second present, and then we're gonna just deliver that into the middle. Again, we get money for it, we get experience for it. And we're just gonna keep buying javelins, by the way. Like, that's the entire fucking plan. Now, the main reason why I wanna show you this game is this right here. Because this fucking shit is funny. Look at this. Oh, let's go! <laughs> uh... That's also why I, like, exclusively play Pangolier on this. There's these uh, traps here, by the way. If you walk through this, um, sometimes, sometimes not, apparently. If you walk through these, these come down, and then you take damage. That's all. I don't know why. It's just, it's just what happens. Anyway, there's no real way for me to heal, so right now my optimal play is to die. So I, I, I think I'll try to, like, do that. You know, there's, like, plenty of ways to, like, get killed. So, I'm just gonna die. Yeah. Anyway. Gonna wait to respawn. Now, there's an entire, like, outer part of the map that is not used as commonly as uh, the inner part, right? Like, everybody's always fighting in the middle. Um, but you can actually go out here, and then there's, like, a whole bunch of gravels, and you just get completely fucked up. And I think I'm dead. Yeah, I'm dead. Um... The Grievous have presents, you can pick those up. There's all of these, like, chests on the floor which you can pick up. And then you get, um, you know, some additional items and stuff, which is nice. Oh, well, no, we don't want to get hit by that. No, thank you. Oh, wait, you're on my team. Oops. Okay, let's not get hit by you. Thank you. I'm going to get a point into the shield crash. You do not have to deliver presents into the middle. You can deliver presents into the uh, side shops as well. That's fine, right? Um, like, it's totally something you can do. And it works. Although, I'm not sure. You might actually get less gold and experience for it. All right? Because, like, I only got 200 there. And I'm not entirely sure if there's, like, a difference in presence and all of that. Right? Like, I, I really don't know. Anyway, there's a uh, whole bunch of, like, fancy stuff on the map. Like, the map is beautiful. I think the map looks really, really cool. Really great. Um... Not like ours. There's also these like random ass traps which will kill you. Right? Like if I had gotten hit by that, I would just be dead. Um, if you pick up presents, you also get slowed. And I think that depends on what kind of presents you have. Also, sometimes you just walk into a trap and die. And um and that happens. It's time. I, 
<laughs> and that's that, right? Like, um, that's a lot of this game. It's just like, oh, oh, I guess I died. Oh well. And now that I'm getting attacked by a Grievel, it has this taunt that makes it like impossible to kill the thing. There we go. I've got a second present. So I think we're just gonna sh uh, use our ultimate again to just go into the middle and like see if we can fight somebody. Currently, we're not really doing very well as a like team because I do have a teammate here. Oh, I'm getting eaten. Well, that's kind of rude, isn't it? All right, let's go to burst them a bit. Ah, all right, all right. I would like two more javelins. Hey, it's the optimal build. All right, but you can see there's like a, a bunch of these presents on the ground, and you can or like treasure chests. You go there and you pick that up. A nice, I got a present, soul ring, and I will double damage rune. Not really the most useful thing, but I, I turn in the presents. Right, and I uh, got some money for it and all of that. Just gonna sell the soul ring, get ourselves another javelin. Cool. And yeah. You get like 500 for each present in the middle. Yeah, you do get like a lot of money for presents in the middle. So, it's definitely something to keep in mind. Do we have a way to kill him? No. Oh, yes, we do. Okay, cool. But now I am basically dead again. So, I'm just gonna die to a neutral creep. Doesn't really matter. And uh, yeah, now this map also has one aspect that I find really weird. Right? Like, I just don't really get why this is a thing. Um, but you see this right here? This is like a PUBG style border of the map, where the map becomes smaller as time progresses. Uh, in fact, right now, you see that there's like a timer right here. And the map decre border decreased timer. So, in just a few seconds, boom, the map is shrinking. Now, I don't know why that is. I have no idea. Seems like an odd choice, right? Like, it doesn't really add anything to the game. Um, doesn't really make a lot of sense in the context of the game, but it's something that happens. Can we kill this? Oh, we're dead. Okay. Right? Why Javelin over Maelstrom? Because Javelin is, like, so much cheaper. Like, Javelin is 1,100 gold. Maelstrom is 20,700. Uh, not 20,000. 2,700. Like, it's not even comparable, really. Javelin is super cheap, and Maelstrom is not, so stacking Javelins is much easier to do. It also does a lot of damage, man. Aw, rude. Cool, we got him. We got him, and now we're really slow again. But hey, we'll just go through the middle here. Put our presence in, get some money. We've got our Javelins maxed out. And just sliding away. Sliding away. Now, again, there's no real safe spot, so the fact that I'm still alive isn't helpful. <laughs> like, it just doesn't really do anything for me. Because I I don't get any value out of it. Alright. Um, by the way, we're actually doing pretty well. The leader has 19 presents, we have 15. Alright, so, like, while it may not look like we're doing very well, because I am 0 and 8, you have to keep in mind, a lot of these deaths are just to neutrals. Like, you die a lot to neutrals. Um, in fact, almost everybody has, like, a ha pretty harsh negative score. Right? Like, 1 and 8, 1 and 7, 3 and 7, 0 and 8. Satsa has a lot of kills, but that's because Satsa has played this game, like, four times before with me, and he always goes for kills. And then we have... Um... Cool. Kill them. Alright, so, but they are 2 and 4, 1 and 7, 3 and 5, 0 and 9, 6 and 4... Right, you see, like, people just don't have any kills. Because there's really no good way of getting kills. Like, it's not like it's even encouraged, really. Like, it's just like, kills are just not really a part of it. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and do this. And... Ah. Uh, it's trying to catch him. It's a bit difficult because of the, you know, like, constant frame loss. But yeah. Oh, shit. Cool, we got him. Doesn't matter, though. Because, like, again, there's really no point to it. Like, it just doesn't do anything. Oh, there's a Grievel fucking us up. Yeah, that, like, happens occasionally, that the Grievels show up in the mid, and then they just, you know, kill you. 
Greevils are so strong, man. That's like the real issue with this game, is just how strong the Greevils are. It's obscene. They just wreck you. Over and over and over again. Oh, I got stunned out of that. Nice. Quick pickoff. Get that present, deliver it. Hey, 19 to 26. I wonder what the score limit is right now. Uh, if it's solo, I know it's um, 25, but I mean, we already passed that point, so that's clearly not it. All right, we're just going to kind of like keep sliding around, though. <laughs> All right. Chat's not making enough jokes about Bami being gifted and him not picking and, and picking up presents. That is true. That seems like a wasted opportunity, Chad. What are you doing? Oh, I'm dead. Can you use your Q to move with the present? Um, I'm not sure. I think so. I think you can use Swashbuckle to move with the presents. Yeah. Actually, I'm pretty sure now that I think about it. Anyway. Yo, what's up? Oh, I wanted that kill. So the map border got smaller again. Again, I'm not sure why. It seems like an odd choice. Just really seems like an odd choice. Um, anyway. Can we get this guy? Oh, we got stunned again. Aw. It's really difficult to like hit people while they are sliding around like that. Okay, he's dead. Oh, I actually got credit for that. Oh, I'm dead now. Anyway. Blink seems mandatory. Actually, if you blink, then you lose the presence. Then I'll line up with you. Um, so let's go looking for some more of them. Right? Like, again, presence are really the objective of the game. It's not this... By the way, it's not just me dying to these. Right? I want to make that clear. Like, it's not that I'm just terrible and that's why we, I'm dying. Like, you know, and that's why I die to these, these Greevils. No, those Greevils are just really strong. Like, really fucking strong. All right. Let's see if we can get into the mid here. All right, we're just kind of like slowly making our way there. Quick pick off, nice. Minus three seconds, swashbuckle. Why, oh, yes, thank you. Oh, I'm stunned. Rude. Oh, I'm stunned again. Still rude. Oh, I'm dead. All right, uh, I'm gonna build an MKB and just get another. Just get another javelin. Why not? This is Pangolier, man. This is literally like 100% of what Pangolier item builds should like. If you're buying any item that's not just javelins on Pangolier, then what are you doing? What are you doing? Right, it's just not a good idea. Alright. So... Let me get this. Oh no. Ah, well I got eaten. Well I got eaten. I don't know what the kill limit is right now. I really wish I knew what the kill limit is. Does anybody know what the kill limit is? This is just kind of like going on for a while. Oh shit. So there are some people that really like this game, like uh, Dalclord described this as one of his favorite entries, or like one of the one of the entries he thinks is a favorite to win. Personally, I I'm not a huge fan. I'm sure you can tell. I just think there's too much going on, right? Like I, that's just the thing. There's just like a lot happening, and what I do as a player doesn't really matter like it's just not really that important like my decisions I mean like I go and try to get presents but like very frequently I just kind of get killed by these Greevils and that's that and there's not really much I can do about it and I'm getting kills but they don't really matter right and you see how like two level 25 heroes are currently getting slaughtered by these Greevils <laughs> Right? Like, this Necro is just dead now. Man, the damage output from this is quite real. It's crazy how much damage that does. Alright, yeah, I'm dead. And, um, I don't know. 
Well, the thing is, like, you always have to keep in mind, whenever I talk about anything regarding design in any video game, I'm always coming at it from, like, my point of view and what I like in video games, right? And, like, things that I enjoy in video games are tight controls and, like, feeling like I am the one in charge, you know? Like, I want to be the one at fault for both winning and losing, right? I want to be the one that makes the final decision, and if, if I end up losing, then, then I end up losing. But as long as I feel like that's my fault, I'm fine with that. Right? Well, in this game, I often feel like like what's happening isn't really that relevant to me. You know. Anyway, uh, we'll go ahead and do that. Okay, we had 35, so maybe we're going up to 50? That would be quite a while, wouldn't it? So the map is now really small. Man, I do a lot of damage. This really goes to show, like, the power of this Pangolier bullshit. Right? Like, you go hard on damage. Oh, wait. I got stunned out of it. Aww. Rip. Rip, rip, rip. Is this really how you're supposed to play Pangolier now? Like, it's kind of a little bit upsetting that this is, like, the best best playstyle for this hero, right? Like, just stack javelins and hit people with it. And I think it is. I think this is the best, like, most effective style. Oh, there's Roshan. So, Roshan is now here. And, um... He's going to kill all of us. Yes. So. You know. That's happening. Oh, I think I'm dead. Yeah, I'm dead. <clears throat> so yeah, so Roshan does show up as well. Apparently. And he's just like... You know what? I'm really not having any of this. And I'm just like... Why not? Like, it's fun. Don't you see that? Oh, shit. Okay, um... Well... Trying to, like... No. No, I'm not getting that. Okay. Nice fire attack. I like that, though. It's a cool Roshan. I wish we had that boss in OA. I want this Roshan as a boss in OA. Can we just, like, take every single game mode that made a boss for this game, like, like custom game contest, and use all of them for OA? Is that, like, okay? Okay, we've got a bunch of presents. Oh, shit. Run in here, deliver them. Nice. Oh my god, that ember is like almost dead. Holy shit, I won! I won against that ember, that's crazy. Fucking Pangalia, man. Oh, hello Roshan, you're just chilling here now. Oh, he's back! Well, that's nice, I guess. Not really sure. I can't believe this is still going on. I don't know why this game mode is still going on. <laughs> you want every single thing in existence as an OAA boss? I do want everything that I can get as an OAA boss, as an OAA boss. I'm not gonna lie about that. I don't care about OAA, man. Good game, good game. I'm very proud of it. Doesn't have a lot of players, but I do think it's a very good game. And I wanna, like, keep improving it. And I think there's so much to be improved about it. Like, that's really the main thing, right? I think there's, like, so, 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 so much... So much more we can do with OAA. And I really want to do all of that. Alright, uh, if this really goes to 50, then it's gonna be forever. Because, like, we only get this shit if we actually kill Roshan, you know? Okay. Oh, no. I think I'm dead again. Oh, there we go. Yeah. I mean, Roshan is just kind of being rude, mostly. I like that he tosses people. That's funny. That is funny. Hey. We got him. I wonder if we can win that fight against her. I just want to, like, one versus one that Phantom Assassin. 
mean, clearly that's not happening right now, but I would like to. Oh, why me? What did I ever do? I can't even attack him. He's invulnerable. Well, that's fun. <laughs> well, that's nice that I couldn't do anything about him killing me right there. <laughs> okay. I mean, Rajan really hasn't even taken a significant amount of damage. Can we get that? No. Aww. Alright. So, um... Like, I'm kind of tempted to just shut this down at this stage. Everybody... Everybody, everybody just go, just go rush. Rush only. Alright, just stop fighting and just kill Roshan, okay? Ugh! I think that would really help us. You know, in our quest to actually ever leave this game. Oh god, I'm dead. No, don't Dagon me, Dagon Roshan! Ah. <sighs> Oh, I'm dead again. Maybe we should have gotten some HP or something. I really like this Roshan, though. It's a really, really, really cool boss. Super cool. Okay, I'm just gonna hit him. And... Nice, we killed him again. And now we're fighting over the presence. Is this, is this it? Is this just how many presents we're going to be getting for the rest of the game? Like, we need to group up as a... As a match. And somehow try and get enough presents. Okay, I think we've had enough. Chat, do you guys think we've had enough? I think we've had enough. Push one if you think we've had enough. Alright, I'm going to shut this down now. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this. That is Frostable's Brawl. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating on the video. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.